Yes. Um, we're having a screening on May 7th, Saturday, May 7th, the day before Mother's Day, a prostate cancer screening. Call my office at 407-566-1105 to register. It is a big event. It is for ladies. This is the way to show your man how you love him and that you want to keep him around because the earlier you find prostate cancer, the easier it is to treat. Okay. Now, we talked before the break, and we've been trying to involve the ladies in the audience in this show from the beginning because we want a total understanding of what's going on with the man's body so the wife will, one, help him to have a healthier, long-lasting, very fulfilled life, and number two, won't be feeling bad herself if there's problems like impotence and erectile dysfunction. How does a wife gently bring up the subject of, hey, we're going to talk to Dr. Lotenfo, and we're going to get with him, and we're going to have an appointment? Um, the easiest way is probably bring him to a screening, and um, that will bring things up. And if he has any problems, he can, you know, we can briefly discuss it during the screening and convince him that things can be, perform can be done with minimal side effects. So I think that might be the best way to gently bring the subject to your husband and uh, bring him, uh, have him sign up for the screening, have him come in, and that's an easy, informal way. And from there on, he can see that nothing is really too bad and that, we can, and then th and that it can be treated. Now, do, um, do patients, are they able to just contact you directly or do they have to go through their primary care physician? A lot depends, of course, on their insurance. Some insurances require that they get a referral. However, most patients can call directly to my office, 407-566-1105, and set up an appointment or register for the prostate cancer screening. Mm -hmm. uh, again, let's go back to symptoms for a minute. Um, symptoms of erectile dysfunction. Uh, some men may try to procrastinate and say, nah, that was just a one time, a lot of pressure at work, honey, or too many uh, Jack Daniels tonight or something like that. Um, when does it become a problem that he knows he's got a problem? Basically, if it's persistent. You know, because there are multiple factors that can play a role. The, the thing is that if you just cannot perform satisfactorily for you and or your wife, that's the time to seek help. No matter whether it is psychological because of stress or because of um, other things going on in your life or whether it is physical, the treatment remains the same. We st the response to treatment also remains the same. Mm -hmm. So even if it's a temporary problem, we can help out with the medication. It doesn't mean that you have to take the medication throughout your life. Now, if there's a physical problem, then we definitely will look at that and see if there's any reason for that and take it from there. All right. And when you talk about the green light and opening up that channel, um, how long does that last? Or has it been so new we don't know yet? Well, actually, it's been around a, lot, uh, a while, and we know now that the five-year effectiveness is 90%. Ten, only 10% 10 fail over five years or less. So better than 90% of the patients still do well after um, five years, and that is comparable to that old standard uh, rotor router. I mean, and, and, you know, I'm sure there were a lot of men who did not want to go and face the possibility of prostate problems because they'd heard about the roto router and they thought, yeah, not me. Absolutely. But and the laser, eh, don't even yeah. know what's happening. It is so easily done, and, I th and most patients tell me that it was much easier on them than they thought it was going to be. It is just like that exam for the prostate. It is more the anxiety in advance that, and the in, on being insecure about what's going to happen that is the worst factor to overcome. Mm -hmm. And most men actually tell me that it is much easier on them than they thought it was going to be. Okay, let's talk about, uh, again, the phone numbers and your exact locations if somebody wants to see you. And is there a website that people could research further? Yes. Um, my website is orlandoprostatecancer.com, orlandoprostatecancer.com. And I can, uh, you can call my office at 407-566-1105. And we are located just off of the I-4 exit 64 uh, near Disney World at Celebration Hospital. Mm -hmm. How about in the 30 seconds we've got left, hints for body maintenance to, you know, better care for our prostate? 
basically regular exercise, <clears throat> uh, low fat diet, and uh, the simple things. Uh, you can go into more detail. A lot of things have not been proven, but you know, uh, soy uh, ingestion of soy products on a regular basis, all that may help um, prevent prostate problems or help you with uh, uh, delay prostate problems. But the common things, um, low fat diet, uh, high fiber diet and regular exercise are the most basic things to do. All right. And don't forget the screening coming up in May. It's a day before Mother's Day. That's the easiest way to remember. And all you have to do is call Urology Health Solutions. 407-566-1105.